Cloud Bannock was losing his battle with leukemia. You know, I tried all the therapies that were available, all the chemotherapies, all the radiation. I've gone through all the fallout from the disease. Bannock says he was almost dead when he heard about an experimental treatment that could be the next frontier in immune therapy, custom-made living drugs. An earlier wave of immunotherapy drugs, the kind used to treat former President Jimmy Carter's cancer, unmasks tumors so that T cells, a kind of immune cell, can strike. Now doctors are reprogramming those T cells to make them stronger and better at seeking out cancer. By doing this genetic modification, we're actually able to really rev up the T cell into a much, much more superior, uh, essentially killing machine. The process begins with removing T cells from the patient's blood. One of the ways researchers are altering them is through a virus engineered to instruct the T cells to grow a chimeric antigen receptor or CAR. The CAR T cells then zero in on a specific type of cancer. These cells presumably then can do surveillance. They can, they can kill tumor cells if they're trying to recover or return. Millions of copies of those supercharged T cells are grown in incubators. Hello, Doc. How are you? Fine, thank you, Good sir. Good to see you. See you After two weeks, the modified cells are inserted back into the patient's body. In this case, Peter Biazovich, who's fighting lymphoma. Yeah. Listen, cells are good. Thank you. So they pass all the release criteria? And they come. I hope this will work on me, and I hope this will help benefit future patients. Only major cancer centers are testing these so-called living drugs in trials. But the first CAR T-cell therapies for some blood cancers could hit the market later this year. Researchers are already studying altering T-cells in different ways to attack solid tumors. This is really the T-cell killing the cancer cell in action. These time-lapse photos show one version being tested against an aggressive type of breast cancer. And that's maybe one of the challenges in solid tumors is how do T-cells get into these tissues? What are the signals that ask them to come in or permit them to come in? There are other formidable challenges. Creating these living drugs is an expensive, labor-intensive process, presenting a challenge how to scale up for more patients. It also comes with potential serious side effects. The safety issues are very serious. In fact, sometimes can lead to death. But we've learned a lot about these problems. We've learned how to anticipate them, how to talk to patients and families about them. And most importantly, we've learned how to treat them. Bannock is grateful he was among the early patients to be treated by the Fred Hutchinson researchers. He's been in complete remission since 2014. His wife, however, died of brain cancer years earlier. It's given me a second life. You know, I had one life. I have the memory of it, but it's over and now I'm into a new chapter. A second chance that includes building the home in Hawaii he and his late wife always dreamed about. John Moan, Associated Press.